Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Hi there, and welcome to my lesson on a new, exciting motion tweens in Flash CS4 and CS5. You can see I've got a graphic symbol here, it's a picture of a face that I've drawn. If you don't know how to create a symbol, check out my lesson on how to create a symbol. So to get started, uh, I'm going to make this face move from the left to the right hand side of the screen using the new motion tweens. So unlike classic tweens, you don't have to create two keyframes. All you have to do is extend your first keyframe for any length of time. I'm going to use 75 frames. So you can either press F5 or right click and go insert frame. So now we've got one keyframe that lasts for 75 frames. As you can see, it's just a static picture of a face. Next up, we right click on this keyframe and create a motion tweet. So as you can see, it's gone blue, but as yet, no effect. It's still just a picture of a face. It's a symbol static on the stage. So next up, I'm going to go to the end of this keyframe and I'm going to use the selection tool to just move the face from the left to the right hand side of the screen. And when I let go of the left mouse button here, something interesting is going to happen. You can see that we get a tween line from the left to the right. So Flash has created that animation for us, which we can now play through from the left to the right. And it's showing us this tween line between those two points. So if I wanted to create another point along this line, I could go to frame 35, move my face again, and it would automatically create another keyframe moving between those two points. Let's have a look at these keyframes that Flash has created. I'm just going to zoom in. These diamond shaped keyframes are called property keyframes, and they're a little bit different from the keyframes that the user creates that are round. It's just something to keep in mind and I'll go into it if necessary in a bit more detail in future lessons. I'm just going to undo that middle keyframe just to illustrate another point. What's cool about this motion line is that you can edit it in exactly the same way as you would a fill or a stroke. If I zoom in you can see that I've got an arced cursor here just like uh, I would if I was hovering over a stroke and I can edit this line in exactly the same way. So if I left click on it, I can pull it out into an arc and that will change the animation. So if I play that through, you can see that we've got a nice curved animation without doing any extra keyframes. This is something that you would have to use a motion guide for if you were using classic tweens. But with the new motion tweens, it makes it very easy for you to do that with just a few clicks. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to do very basic easing, color effects and rotation. So I'll see you there. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, the Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.